Kyle, we'll start with you and Brighton. Four changes and uh, a back line where their captain, Bruno, is going to come on the right side. In the midfield, I think they're going to shift formation. Now, March can play off the left, but with Jan Bosch, he's going to probably play off of that side to move March to the right. But Pascal Gross, what an important player to have back at a vital time in the season. He's missed 13 Premier League matches this season, including the last five. So this is his first appearance since February. His numbers don't look great compared to last year, but last year he was so effective in helping Glenn Murray get goals. And Glenn Murray, I think, has struggled a bit where a lot of services come from wide position, but Pascal Gross can give him in this formation change a lot of service underneath him and help take some pressure off of him. Over to Cardiff, now finishing up their second ever season in the Premier League. Robbie, if they're going to play a third next season, these guys got to step up here. Yeah, three changes to the team that lost to Burnley. Neil Etheridge in goal. Hasn't kept a clean sheet away from home in 2019. That doesn't make good reading. It's the same back four that conceded two Chris Wood goals against Burnley. Left back Joe Bennett spent the 2014-15 season on loan at Brighton in the Championship. Midfield, you've got security through Gunnarsson and Rawls. They'll put in the hard yards. Ahead of them, Hoyler to Mendes Lang in the wide areas. They've got speed and trickery but lack of goals has been a problem for Cardiff and they're going to rely heavily on two players Victor Camarasa technically gifted he's got a club high five Premier League goals this season and Umar Nias returns to first team action he was acquired on loan from January from Everton he's yet to register a goal though for the Bluebirds so the stakes are high on the south coast tonight dare not lose to Brighton effectively must win for Cardiff City Right to get the game underway with a five-point buffer. But with the mental damage too from the weekend, Cardiff, the team who are playing catcher in their change kit in the green shirts tonight. It's David Popper for Brighton. Nice turn there by Stoddy March. On he goes, good run, side getting. A sign of intent there from Brighton very early on. The biggest home league defeat for 46 years. Here's Glenn Murray, keeper's come a long, long way, and in the end there did well. For a moment, he thought he'd come too early. I really didn't think Edwards was going to get there. When he came, I thought this is big trouble. Joe Rawls with the ball then, looping deep towards Morrison. Oh, Junior Hoyt, it's gone down there. Ball's been recycled by Manga. Another teasing ball in. And it was there to be a chance. And then lost possession. And maybe a chance for Cardiff to counter-attack. Here's the burly Mendes Lang on the charge. Hoyt. Mendes Lang with the curler! And a spectacular goal for Cardiff City! And a goal which could mean so much for them. In this must-win game for them tonight, it's a piece of genius which puts Cardiff in front at the Amex. I mean, that really is a special counter-attacking goal from Cardiff. What a finish from Mendes Lang. They do brilliantly here just to smother out the play and win the ball. And this is classic counter-attack. There's some space in behind. Mendes Lang buys his time, he allows Hoylet to get wide. This is going to be a key area of Hoylet versus Bruno this evening. And there's so much space for him just to step off, but what a finish. Look at the whip and the pace he gets on the ball. I think it's a real key issue, the distance Bruno here. He allows Hoylet too much time, he's already driving into the box. And then Stevens can't get out, but what a finish from Mendes Lang. Brilliant goal. Cameronassa's ball in, it was a really good one, and it was there to be attacked, and it was Gunnarsson who met it, and he knows their Cardiff could perhaps be two up. It's going to be a free kick. Foul by Pascal Gross, and that invites Cardiff to send some players forward here. It's a difficult ball for Gross to win, but just a little bit late here. On Bennett, just gets his head to it first and arrives a bit late, can sees the foul. Pretty adventurous here, Cardiff, only Pelsier has stayed back for them. Cameron has his free kick, oh, it's a good one too! And turned in by Morrison! Cardiff City have a two-goal advantage! 
They are showing real character and real fight in this survival battle. And they might just be staying alive for now. Chris Hewton looking completely bemused with his team. Cardiff the exact opposite, total elation, and rightly so, it's a fantastic ball in. Morrison is just off the back of Donk, it's nothing complicated. It's a great delivery, it's a perfect delivery in fact. And all Morrison has to do is nod it down into the ground and hit the target. It's a good finish from the big centre half, but he just can't believe how easy that is. and He won't care, he's off celebrating. Rightly so. Captain's contribution. I feel like it's been a theme of Brighton's, but they've, they just seem to have hit every single corner to the back post tonight, and they've got such great headers in the ball. Here's Andone, maybe a chance here. Good defending by Morrison, he was strong there. Saw that danger coming. And he injects some much needed spark now for the Seagulls tonight. Murray there with a the flick off. Donate Murray! First chance he's had all night long. Cardiff for almost there. March. Murray off the post. Some things are just not meant to be, and it's been that way for Brighton tonight. Those who are still here, watching Solly March step forward now. Over it goes, and the game is over too. And Cardiff City have a massive three points tonight. Winners here by two goals to nil in this huge game at the bottom end of the Premier League table and deserve the winners too, you have to admire their fight, their commitment. Brighton beaten here for the third game in a row and for the second time in just four days. Serious questions now posed of them. Can they lift themselves for their demanding running now? Cardiff, off the back of this, are only two points behind them in the table. A rare away win for them, masterminded by Neil Warner. And this survival battle this season could go all the way to the wire. Mendes Lang with one goal, Morrison with the other. The full-time score here, Brighton nil, Cardiff City two. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up right there. The bottom five in the table with a loss for Cardiff City today. They would have fallen eight points from safety, but they did get the win. Two points from safety, and now it is Brighton who now has to sweat the relegation line. Hi, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings on NBCSN.